Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. Today we have affiliated with an amazing organization, Parallel Miner, to bring you one of the most exciting and most innovative pieces of hardware to come to mining in quite some time. It really is a game changer. But first, let's spin that intro. This is the new ZSX all-in-one breakout board, also known as the Game Changer, brought to you by our friends over at Parallel Miner. Why is this little guy called the Game Changer? Basically, this beautiful little product allows you to eliminate the reliance of ever using an ATX power supply on your mining rig. This guy combines three products into one. Obviously it's a server power supply breakout board and it has your standard six pin PCIe power adapters, but it also features a 24 pin as well as a four by four CPU pin plug. It also features a fully integrated fan hub with PWM plugs and a Molex and SATA adapter. Not to mention this thing has a power display, it has an on off switch, and it can be connected to other server breakout boards via the mini four pin, or it can even be a connected to an ATX power supply. Although I don't think you should ever connect this to an ATX power supply because the whole purpose of this thing is to get rid of that ATX power supply. This thing really is a game changer. Let's quickly touch on some of the features and take a closer look at this product. So let's quickly go over the features of this thing. This thing highlights 16 PCIe 6-pin power plugs. It highlights a integrated Pico adapter, 24-pin and 4x4-pin CPU power for the motherboard. It highlights the integrated fan hub at the bottom. It highlights an integrated power switch toggle up here. It highlights an integrated voltage display. It highlights onboard LED power in, power out, and motherboard power indicators. It has dual mini four pin uh, plugs where you could connect additional server power supplies or additional breakout boards. This would power up, it would trigger off of these mini four pin running to another breakout board. It highlights also a Molex adapter. This specific plug here is for if you're running an ATX, the ATX power supply as the primary, and then you would run the Molex from it into this breakout board, which means the ATX would trigger this to turn on. And then also it has a regular Molex and this splits into Molex and SATA so that you can power your SSD or hard drive if so desired. So let's quickly just show you exactly how this thing should be hooked up. First, we're gonna hook up our ZSX breakout board to our server power supply. This is the HP 1200 watt server power supply from Parallel Miner. This is one of the most cost effective and efficient power supplies that you're going to find on the market. So let's go ahead and hook this up and see exactly how it goes. First off, we want to hook our breakout board with the long slot into our server power supply. You want to apply a nice even straight on pressure like so. Now our breakout board's hooked to our server power supply. The next thing we're going to do... Okay, so we have our breakout board slid on here. The next item is to hook in our 24 pin power to go out to the motherboard and to the CPU on the motherboard. Here is our beautiful cable. This is super heavy duty. It's got the nice sleeving on the main 24 pin, and then it goes out to a dual four pin uh, CPU power. If your motherboard only has a four pin, obviously you just pull apart and you use just the one side. If you have an eight pin CPU power, you hook together your four pins and you run it as a, a single eight pin, like so. And there is your plug to your motherboard motherboard CPU. 
The next thing you need to add to your breakout board is your SATA power. Here is the plug that comes with this breakout board. It is a single Molex that comes out to a Molex and SATA adapter. If you're running a solid state drive, you would hook this up. If you're running a hard drive for some reason, you would run this and make sure that it is in the one that is clearly labeled SATA right above the power display right here. Here. This Molex up here is reserved for when you're running an ATX power supply as your main power and you're using this ZSX board as a secondary power. The main ATX would run a Molex plug into here. That way, whenever the ATX powers on, it would power this board and this server power supply. So now we already have our power to our motherboard. We've got our solid state going. We've got our CPU powered. We can plug in any of these additional fans that we would need. They have three pin and four pin and also the PWM on the end. Additionally, for the PWM control that's built into this board, you would run your four pin female into your slot here for your chassis fan in. And then you would run the other end over into your motherboard for your chassis one main fan power. It's going to relay over into your board and then these fans will all be controlled by the motherboard controls if you use this. If you don't use this, which is perfectly fine, all of these fan headers will all run your fans at 100%. If you run the PWM, you will actually control it based off of the motherboard itself. This one PWM up here controls this row. This PWM here controls this row. You can ignore that these are special in red. They're the same as the others, and they run off of this same input. So you could either choose to not use the PWM at all, or you would use a PWM to control these five and a PWM to control these five. Your choice, either works fine. Personally, I'm just gonna run them all at 100% anyway because that's the goal is to keep your components as cool as possible and I'm gonna keep those fans spinning. And the last and most important part, of course, is our GPUs and our risers. And that is for all of the 16-pin PCIe plugs. So you're gonna take your standard six pin cable, plug in your six pin PCIe power cable. You're going to run it up to your GPU. And what I'm doing here is I'm running an adapter to split a six pin into dual eight pin. Now I can take both of these and run them to a single GPU if I need, two eight pins, or say my GPU only needs an eight pin, I could use a single eight pin to my GPU, and then I could run a six pin to my riser, and then it's all powered with one nice PCIe cable. You have 16 of these things, a strong word of advice when using this, I can already tell that you can get a bit cluttered or tangled with your wiring. You want to plan out your build prior to hooking this thing up completely. Maybe you would go ahead and put your motherboard into place, put your server power supply where it's gonna lay, go ahead and run your main power harness to your motherboard and CPU, and then figure out where you're gonna put your solid state, then go ahead and put your GPUs, and then start running these cables last. That way you don't have a spider web going everywhere. If you were running these all nice and organized to say a second layer, you could have them all, all together like this, have them all uh, Velcro strapped around together and then you can have them branch out all nice and neat to wherever they need to go. That really is it. Do not be intimidated by this thing because it has so many plugs. It's different. It's a server power supply. It's scary. Ooh, no. This thing is beautiful. This thing will save you money. This thing will replace the overpriced, less efficient ATX power supply. This thing really is a game changer. Just a couple of quick last tips. This board supports up to 2400 watts or 24 amps, whereas this board has a variety of compatible server power supplies. Make sure to check the full compatibility list to ensure that this piece of equipment will work 
with your server power supply. Not all mining equipment is created equal. Let Parallel Miner outfit you with the most cost and power efficient options on the market. Make sure to jump over onto the Parallel Miner website. I'll put links down in the description and check out their vast array of mining products and accessories. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew!